Tonight, more tough questions being asked about the train derailment in East Palestine. From politicians in Columbus to workers with boots on the ground at the derailment sites, the number one concern, just how safe is it to be there? It's been nearly a month since the world became a witness to this train derailment in East Palestine. While the railways are clear, the fallout from the toxins that flew in the air and saturated the ground continues. Today, Ohio State Senators were on a mission. So this select committee was created to gather a complete understanding of why the derailment in East Palestine happened. Where the recovery stands and how the Ohio Assembly can help. What are the uh, requirements that you have to abide by when it comes to removal of all hazmat? One by one, the committee members asking questions and getting answers from Ann Fogel with the Ohio EPA. The process involves, you know, Ohio EPA physically present at the work site watching the trucks. There's um, a truck wash involved to make sure that no contaminants are you know, being dragged through the streets of town. Hazardous waste from the derailment site by Norfolk Southern already being shipped all across the country some of it being incinerated as close as East Liverpool. By the time they're done, they think there'll be 30,000 truckloads. I mean, think of that. Meanwhile, the U.S. Senate proposed the Railway Safety Act of 2023. It wants to enhance safety requirements for trains transporting hazardous materials and for other purposes. It found bipartisan support. We've got to put safety, I think, top of mind in some of these concerns. The EPA says a mobile bus will now be collecting air samples from the ravaged town. This means we don't have to send samples away for analysis. We can analyze them right here in the bus. The governor saying the cleanup is a slow process, and so is finding out what went wrong. Norfolk Southern has a hearing next week on Capitol Hill. Now, tomorrow will be another busy day in East Palestine as consumer rights advocate Aaron Brakovich returns nearly a week after a successful town hall with the community. And in just a few minutes, a three news investigation. Lena Lai shows us the similarities and differences between the toxic train derailment in East Palestine and a New Jersey train derailment in 2012, where 100,000 100, pounds of vinyl chloride fell into a creek there. Those findings coming up. Laura?